Let's take a look at my favorite tools in the toolbar, the selection tools. These selection tools, the lasso tool, the polygon lasso tool, and the select tool allow us to grab specific areas in our image and make adjustments just to that area. We can either affect all the channels at the same time or get really specific and choose only one channel or two or as many as we want actually. That's the beauty behind the tools. They're wonderful. They give us tons of control. So let's take a look at them. I'm going to go ahead and grab my lasso tool. Now with the lasso tool we can actually just literally freeform a, a selection like this. Just draw right around things. Now what we can also do is uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to grab this eye. Let's see. Now if I hold my shift key notice my cursor changes. See that little plus sign? When you hold the shift key down you can add to a selection just like Photoshop. If I um, want to add this nose I'll just hold the shift key down do the same thing. Add to it. Now we can also use each of these tools in conjunction with each other. So if I, if I hold the polygon lasso tool down, hold my shift key, and I'm going to click here, and we're just going to add this mouth to our, to our selection. I'm going to go right through the nose there and come into it. Now we just captured this entire nose and mouth area and the eyes. So you can use them in conjunction with each other. We can. Um, here's another thing. If I grab my lasso tool one more time, now I showed you how to add to a selection. So we hold the shift key, you get a little plus sign on your cursor and you add to select to a, your selected area. If I want to take away or re, you know subtract something from my selection, let's say I want to take get rid of the nose and all we want to keep is the eyes and the mouth. If I hold my option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC, see the little minus sign on my cursor? That allow me to get rid of anything that I want. So I can go ahead and select that area to eliminate it from my selections. So now if we wanted to make an adjustment, we can adjust to just these three things. But first what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of the mouth. So I'm going to hold my option key again and deselect just that. And I want to make an adjustment just to his eye. So if I'm going to grab my zoom tool and zoom in a little bit. Now if I, what I'm going to do, if I come down here at the bottom, I'm going to choose my channel. So I'm going to click on the gold. I want to adjust the gold in his eyes. Notice this is the ink view. So if I right click inside this preview window here, if I right click, I can view as film. So I can actually see the density of the information that we have on our channel. So now if I also if I right click, I can hit adjust channel and it it will bring up my adjust saturation uh, slider window here. So what I want to do is high saturation. I want to saturate this information, so which means I want to make it darker, so juice up those colors. So now I'm going to grab that slider and I'm going to saturate it up. You look at on screen, you can see we really saturate that area. I'm going to hit OK to that. And now I'm going to hit the proof positive or at the, at the bottom of my screen to see what the full preview is. And if I hit, um, I'm going to hit Command D on my Mac or Control D on a PC will deselect whatever you have selected. Now I'm going to hit Command Zero or Control Zero on a PC to view full screen. So now look at those eyes. We really saturated just the gold inside those eyes using our selection tools. Be sure to watch the other videos in this how-to series.